Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. Today's reading comes from Galatians 1. Paul defends his ministry. For I would have you know, brethren and sisters, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. And that's how most of us do receive it. You can't, no one else can give it to you. They can tell you about it, but they can't give it to you. You got to feel it in your heart and soul and you receive the revelation of Jesus Christ. And that makes you want to become saved. For you have heard of my former manner of life in Judaism, how I used to persecute the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. Um, and if you remember, uh, Paul was persecuting the Christians. He was like holding people's coats while they were stoning them and killing them and cheering them on. Um, and as you uh, heard, he was very zealous for his ancestral traditions. Um, and in some churches... Um, and clearly, you know, it's of his opinion that the uh, Jewish Hebrew church at the time um, was steeped in traditions. Um, and that's where you got to kind of look out for traditions. Um, you know, if it's a religious tradition, it has nothing to do with anything that Jesus said, you know. <laughs> Back to the whole tradition of men thing. Um, and so he's kind of pointing that out as like, I was very religious, you know, but clearly not very spiritual at the time. But when God, who had set me apart even from my mother's womb and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son in me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away to Arabia and returned once more to Damascus. And so, you know, clearly he believes he always felt he had a calling, you know, uh, from God and that he was blessed of God. Um, and so that, that might be true. That might be why God showed him his son, you know. Uh, he was on a wrong path, and God's like, hey, Paul. <laughs> Jesus is like, hey, Paul. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, it was probably overwhelming. And um, so he was a, probably a little bit afraid or shy to go to the previous apostles based on the way he had treated Christians. So he went away, you know, and then came back to where he was from. Then three years later, I went up to Jerusalem to become acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Now, in what I am writing to you, I assure you before God that I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. Um, and we're going to take his word for that, that he means that. Um, because uh, in psychology, they just teach you, usually anytime anybody says, I'm not lying or I'm being honest, it sometimes means they're not. <laughs> but we're going to trust him on this. I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. But only they kept hearing, he who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith, which he once tried to destroy. And they were glorifying God because of me. And, um, you know, Paul earlier was talking about not having pride and things like that. Um, but, you know, they were glorifying God because of me. Um, <laughs> me. Little, little, little in there, I think. That's my opinion. But anyway, um, still Paul is feeling he needs to defend his ministry. Um, because of how he was before his ministry. Um, and, you know, any other human being 
we probably feel that way. You know, if you knew you were in error, then you found out, um, then you changed your ways, you would feel like, ooh, uh, that was bad. <laughs> but, you know, um, he did a lot of good with his ministry. Amen. That's all for now.